Hi everyone and welcome to a new video, a new sort of a meditation that I did before is that I'm going to tell you a story, I'm going to read you something that's either going to be insightful or just going to make you relax by listening to my voice. And this time what I'm going to talk about is trying to make your life perfect and that that is what is preventing you from being good enough. I will link the article that I'm reading out loud also in the description so you can read it if you want to. So let's start. In life, there is something called the law of reverse effort. Reverse effort is why sand sits on your palm when it's open and relaxed, but slips through your fingers when you grip it tightly. It's why so many people find love when they aren't looking for it, and why effortlessness is an element of everything we find truly beautiful. It is why we are told that easy does it, and that to let go is to allow good things to blossom in our lives. Unfortunately, all of this is in direct opposition to what we're taught about success. We imagine that we could achieve higher states of being by exerting more force. We think we can manipulate ourselves into physical perfection our surroundings into showroom level beauty or relationships into idealized versions of what they really are. And we think this because to a degree we find it to be true. So I'm asking you, is it true that we must first pick up the sand to hold it? That we must be open to finding love to find it all? That we must show up and take action to create our lives? Our behavior is, without question, directly responsible for the outcome of our lives. But there is a difference between what we show up and do our best at, and what we show up and try to manipulate into what it was never supposed to be. That is where so many people get stuck. Trying to make your life perfect is preventing it from being good enough. When we're intent on trying to manipulate outcomes into what they were never intended to become, we end up inching toward our idea of perfection, while at the same time feeling as though we are farther and farther behind. This mindset leads us to stay in relationships that aren't right for us, remain attached to people who aren't meant to be a part of our future, Try to fix small things that don't need to be fixed in the first place. Adjust small details that were just fine the first time around. It's this mindset that leads us to ignore timing and override our instincts. It's this mindset that keeps us walking in circles, our eyes down on the ground, never feeling like any progress is enough. It's this mindset that leaves us feeling like a shell of the people we were meant to be because when we chase perfection, we are trying to create an image. When we chase good enough, we're trying to create a feeling. Good enough is not giving up. It is not settling. It is not throwing your hands up once you've gotten far enough that you can relax. Good enough is a state of mind in which every step and every day has goodness within it. Good enough means that we do not wait until we arrive somewhere new to start enjoying our lives. It means that we can see clearly the act with integrity. It means that as often as we rise up and control what we can, we also release and let go of what we can't. It means that we are not in correct mode all of the time, rather we cure ourselves to appreciate it. It's when we allow our eyes to gravitate towards what is already good and what might be better. It means that we move with love for life and ourselves. It means that we acknowledge the imperfect beauty of everything around us. But more than anything, it is when we recognize that anything that flows out of us naturally, any relationship that coheres effortlessly any art that erupts from us like a second nature 
is far better than anything we have to force to be good. Nothing has to be perfect to be enough, because it will never be perfect, and it always can be enough. The choice in the end is ours. Thank you for listening. I hope this text gave you some inspiration or some clarity or insight. I mean, for me, it definitely did. Even though I had read it multiple times before. But this time, I don't know why. I feel like something clicked. And maybe it will click for you too. Or maybe not. At least I hope you enjoyed it. You felt relaxed. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching and listening.